Hello grade 7 students. Today I am going to apply what we studied in the previous video in two exercises. Please write the notes and the solution on your copybook. A small reminder here about the technique that can be used to identify the presence of starch. First we take the leaf, then we put it in hot alcohol and in iodine solution. We place the leaf in hot alcohol to discolor it and then in iodine solution to test the presence or absence of starch. If starch is present, then we can say that photosynthesis occurred. However, if it is absent, then one of the essential nutrients is absent. It could be light, carbon dioxide, water, or mineral salts. Now open your books, page 42, and let's start with exercise number 9. A leaf removed from bean plant A is exposed to light and another leaf from bean plant B is placed in darkness. The variable factor is light because leaf A is exposed to light while leaf B is placed in darkness. These two leaves are soaked in boiling alcohol then rinsed with water and treated with iodine solution. Which plant synthesizes starch? Plant A or plant B? Of course, plant A, because simply it is exposed to light, which is an essential nutrient for the process of photosynthesis. Number 1. Justify why these leaves were soaked in boiling alcohol and then treated with iodine solution. The leaves were soaked in boiling alcohol to discolor them or to remove the green pigments and then treated with iodine solution to detect the presence or absence of starch. Number two, specify the obtained result with each of the two leaves. When you are asked to justify, uh, to specify, you must indicate and justify. First, indicate the result after iodine solution. It can be either a positive result or a negative result and then justify. I will answer. A dark blue color is obtained in the leaf exposed to light. Now justify because the plant uses light to produce the organic matter. However, a yellow color is obtained in the leaf placed in darkness. Justify because the plant cannot synthesize the organic matter without light. Note here, Photosynthesis occurs only during the day. This is why starch appeared in plant A and not in plant B. Pause please the video and copy the solution on your copybook. Now open your book page 43, exercise 11. High level of carbon dioxide greater than 0.03% of air increases the production of fruits and vegetables. To verify this, here we are proving the previous sentence. We are proving that high level of carbon dioxide increases the production of fruits. So this whole experiment is to prove this sentence, this hypothesis. Tomato crops are cultivated in greenhouses where we only vary the carbon dioxide level, while the other conditions are the same. So the only thing that is changing is carbon dioxide. The results are shown in the document below. Observe well the table. What's happening to the rate of carbon dioxide? It increases from 0.03 to 0.05 to 1. So the rate of carbon dioxide is increasing. Then, what is the effect of this increase on the amount of tomato produced? It also increases from 100 to 180. Now, let's answer. Number one, pick out from the text the tested hypothesis. Always, when you want to write the hypothesis, write hypothesis two points maybe. Maybe high levels of carbon dioxide greater than 0.03% of air increases the production of fruits and vegetables. It's from the text. Number two, list other factors that can increase the production of fruits and vegetables. In this exercise, 
we are using carbon dioxide. We are proving that carbon dioxide is essential to increase the production of fruits and vegetables. What are the other factors? The other factors are light, water, and mineral salts. Number three, analyze the obtained result. Always, when you are asked to analyze, you must say increase or decrease. Do not say it becomes. This is totally wrong. Look how do we analyze. When the rate of carbon dioxide is 0.03%, the amount of produced tomato is 100 tons per hectare. Now, tell me what's happening to the rate of carbon dioxide. When the rate of carbon dioxide increases to 1%, the amount of produced tomato increases to 180, which is 80 times more. Draw out a conclusion concerning the tested hypothesis. I conclude that high levels of carbon dioxide greater than 0.03 increases the production of fruits and vegetables. Write again the hypothesis, but without maybe. Today's session is finished. See you.